Hello YCS teachers. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kahoot. This is an application that you can use in your classrooms on a desktop or on an iPad. It's a classroom response system and it's really like game-based learning. And the reason why um, we really like it here is because it's instant feedback. You'll notice that all students are engaged and there's a lot of energy in your classroom and competition. So I'm going to talk a little bit at the beginning about how to sign up for this. You can go to getkahoot.com and all you do is just click my free account, type in your role as a teacher, and then um, enter some like a little bit of account details, and then you can select the quiz option. There are also two other options, survey or discussion. Um, I don't know a lot about this, but if you are a post-secondary teacher or if you teach an AP class or an English class or anywhere where you needed to ignite debate or discussion, I think these would be really good, but I'm most familiar with the quiz option. Um, a few weeks ago we presented this in a staff meeting and Mrs. Merkel, the other Spanish teacher, made a um, staff kahoot. And so if you look at the link on the bottom of the YouTube video, you can actually play. So you just click that link below and then you would preview and you could play on your own and see what it looks like on the administrative side. So how you play in class, all you do is go click my cahoots, select play and launch and then um, when the students are playing, so you'll have the game up in your classroom and you would select the following URL. Um, the students would select the following URL, kahoot.it and the students would enter the game pin and then they would play the quiz. And so again, if you wanted to see what this would look like, you just need to, um, at, the, at the description of the YouTube video, click on the link and then you can see what a game would look like and hit the preview option and kind of play around with it. Also, when students are signing up for the game, they can pick nicknames. Once everyone is in, you can start the quiz. So the game automatically keeps track of score, no need to write it down, and the top five winners are displayed at the end of the quiz. And students can compare their score to others in the class during the game and when the game is over. So this creates um, a very competitive atmosphere in the classes, which I kind of like. There's also some advanced features of Kahoot that I think you'd like. So you can have the Kahoot actually automatically move through all of the questions, which is really nice at the very beginning if you have a warm-up activity and you need to take attendance quickly. Um, you don't have to actually be manipulating the game. And this is great because all the students are engaged and participating in classroom content and you're not even in front of the class, which is great. You also, if you need to talk with a small group of students or have a conference with a group of students or do a guided reading group, the Kahoot game could be playing while you're meeting with those select students. Um, also, Kahoot, you can randomize the order of the questions and answers, which is nice. Maybe you're using a sample test or you're making your own test and you want to make every answer A. You will know that Kahoot will automatically mix up the questions, so no need to do it on your own. Um, and this will kind of just save you some time. Examples, um, I have some examples of how to use Kahoot in your elementary, middle school, or high school classroom. I think it could be used in all levels. What I've done in the past is I've actually, there's a place where you can insert an image. So I've actually inserted the image into the Kahoot question and the students have to pick what it represents. I think this is great for visual learners. We all know that many students are visual learners. Also, this would be great for students that can't read yet maybe kindergarten or for, um, kindergarten students or students that maybe struggle with reading. Um, this would give them, they would be able to play and also maybe special needs students or English language learners. It's a great, for me, it's great to use when I introduce a brand new concept or a vocabulary word to put that picture up there. And, and then also I can talk a little bit about that picture right after we go on to the next question. Um, another way to use Kahoot in your classroom is you can insert videos. YouTube videos. So I, for me, I use it for listening activities in Spanish. The kids have to listen and then respond to a question, but I think this would be really good for reading comprehension. Maybe you want um, students to listen to a, um, a small excerpt from a chapter, or maybe um, you're going to read something and you're going to put it on YouTube, and then the kids have to listen and then answer the question appropriately. Then you get instant feedback and you know whether or not the kids understood or you need to um, reteach that particular concept. Um, another thing that, that you could add um, to your Kahoot game to um, add engagement is when the students are signing in at the very beginning. So the students um, join at kahoot.it, they type in the game pin, and then you have to wait about five, ten minutes depending on the size of your class 
and internet connectivity for all of them to sign in. And this can take time and it can waste class time. What I like to do is I like to, you, there's a at the very end of the Kahoot game, there's a place where you can, en you can enter a, Kahoot, um, a YouTube video. And so I have entered YouTube videos that have songs in Spanish that talk about our vocabulary or grammar point. And the students were going, I had the lyrics in front of them and they were going through and circling the vocabulary and the grammar that they heard while listening. So the kids are participating in an activity while we're waiting for the game to start. Another way not to waste class time, students are engaged. And, and so you could use this in your classroom. Maybe you introduce a novel and you have a song that goes along with that era or time period. The students could be listening and also it kind of helps create um, that um, a, a good atmosphere. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I introduced this to YHS teachers and many of them were using it later that day and they couldn't believe how engaged the students were, how much they liked the game. So I invite you to try it. It's really fun. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Sean Churchill, Spanish teacher at YHS. Adios.